Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nurse Macy and on this space I talk about women's health, especially fertility, pregnancy, labor, delivery, family planning, parenting, and lots more. So if you're visiting my channel for the first time or you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the red subscribe button below this video and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out any time I upload a new video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you signs you're not ovulating and what to do next. So stay to the very end of this video because it's going to be very helpful. <laughs> Absence of ovulation, also known as anovulation, is the very common cause of infertility among women. It is as a result of hormonal imbalances and irregular menstrual periods. Anovulation occurs when an egg is not released from the ovaries during menstrual cycle. If you have been following my videos, I've made a lot of videos about ovulation. Ovulation is simply the release of a matured egg from the ovary and it's part of a woman's menstrual cycle. So it takes place once every month, depending on your menstrual cycle. Ovulation takes place 14 days before your next menstrual cycle. And during ovulation, hormones are actually involved. Ovulation process begins when gonadotropin releasing hormones is released from the hypothalamus, which causes your brain to secrete follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. From the 6th to the 14th of your menstrual cycle, follicle stimulating hormones causes follicle in one ovary to begin to mature. Then from the 10th to the 14th of your cycle, one of the developing follicles forms fully to a matured egg. Then on the day 14th of your cycle, luteinizing hormones begin to rise and thereby causing the ovary to release its egg and that is your ovulation. Now I'm going to show you the sign that you're not ovulating. If you're seeing your menstrual period doesn't necessarily mean you are actually ovulating. A woman can actually menstruate without ovulating. One, a heavy or a very light menstrual period. One can actually say that a period is heavy when a woman has lost more than 80 mils of blood during her menstrual period. Or a woman who her menstrual period has lasted more than 7 days. A two sign of anovulation is having a lack of periods, also known as amenorrhea. Missing one or more periods without being pregnant is a sign of anovulation. Three, having irregular menstrual periods. If the length of time between your periods keeps changing, it's considered to be irregular menstrual cycle. For example, you had 28 days menstrual cycle this month and next month you had 35 days the other months you had 21 days, it's considered to be irregular. Number four, having an irregular basal body temperature. Your basal tem body temperature is your temperature when you are at rest. It's usually taken when you wake up from sleep before getting out of the bed. On ovulation day, normally the basal body temperature rises because of the increase of ovulation hormones. Number five, having a lack of cervical mucus. During ovulation, a woman usually have the most vaginal discharge called the cervical mucus, which is like an egg white. Cervical mucus is the most noticeable sign of ovulation. Absence of it could be a sign of anovulation. It's very important to pay close attention to your body, especially during your reproductive age. And if you're trying to get pregnant, you can purchase ovulation test kits or cassettes that can help you dictate the presence of luteinizing hormone in your urine because you can actually get pregnant during your ovulation. For medical intervention, if you experience any of these signs, thank you for watching my video today. If you have found this video helpful and you like to get similar videos from this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell icon, leave a comment below and click on that video displaying on your screen. See you in my next video. Bye.